Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And um, I've got several of my personal journals sitting here because I got a request um, from someone to show you how I use some of my junk journals and also I guess wanted to know how I used some of the paper crafts that I make. Um, in the junk journals. So, and, and I've really spent some time thinking about this because um, there's just so many different ways and so many different styles of journals that, um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I was just trying to think like what would be the most helpful or what would be the most interesting. So, um, I do hand make a lot of my journals, as you guys know. So this is, these two are a good example of that. Um, this one is actually a fairly new one that I've made for me using um, the cover of this Gallery of Fashions book. Um, I just split it open though and added a nice big thick spine because this was a little skinny book. Um, and I used a few of the pages that were left. Most of those I put in my paper packs in my Etsy shop. But I've just really started working in this one. And like I said, this one's for me. Um, you can see the types of pages I put in it. I wanted some large paper. There's a few pieces that are smaller. But so lots of fun vintage paper for me to have to work in. Um, so... I went ahead and then added, this is actually from the, um, I don't know, what is it, the desk cover of the book, and it was in really bad shape, but I added it on here because I wanted to be able to see it and enjoy it for a long time. Um, but I did go through, and um, so here's an example. So I've done videos, a lot of videos on making different clusters and um embellishments and I have a whole pile of them usually in my videos or in my my posts and then what do you do with them well like here I just added it as a um as a tab for the page on my journal um sometimes I'll put them on larger tags and different things this is a pocket and a journaling card that I've made a, a long time ago and I love it and hadn't put it down and so I put it in here and I will write something on here at some point but I even just started writing on the page um, and that was kind of one of the the questions I guess somebody had was you know now that we do so much on computers and we don't really write anymore and you know how to use them so I actually do write in my journals uh, my personal ones um, I also do a lot of quote work um, depending on um, the theme of the journal, right? Uh, you can, if you um, want to, you can use scripture, you can just use a single word, you know, whatever it is that inspires you um, are things that you want to say. So you can also print out words or quotes. So if your handwriting is not something, you know, you're really um, feeling comfortable with, you know, you could still type it and then print it out if you wanted it in your journal. I like to have lots of extra space to journal in. So I usually go ahead and put opportunities for that in my journals as I'm going. And I can go back then and put put some thoughts down or whatever. Um, I have some books that are just full of quotes and poems that I've collected over many, many years. So I love having that. This is a jumbo pocket that I made recently um, on a video for Pink Monarch Prints, and I talk about when I made the video. Goodness, I can't even grab my little string here. Um, that depending on how you, you know, install it will depend on how many pockets you have. So this one, I left it open, large opening. So I've got one two, three, and then this large pocket back here, four. So um, lots of space here. And again, this would be a good place for me to put something maybe that I want to only look at intentionally when I open that up and maybe read it. But you can see here, even a large piece of paper, if you're gentle, will go in 
that side pocket. This card might do better because it's a little bit thicker. There you go. Um, so when you're wanting to make more things, I think that was the thing is I want to keep making all the little things and then what do I do with them? So, you know, if writing really isn't your thing, um, it's just fun to interact with all and look at all the different images and textures. So I just, you know, I kind of encourage you to do that. Um, when I make pockets, I go ahead and put them um, in my journals. Here's a hidden spot that, again, I made on a video recently showing you how to do gate folds. And I went ahead and put it in this journal of mine. Um, I will probably write here or maybe even add another pocket. So... As I go through and I work in this journal, I might even collage or do something. And I am going to do a page um, with you guys here in just a minute. Um, and this is a journal that um, was last year's journal. And it, it is private, so we're not going to sit here and read a whole bunch. But like this was for my daughter's birthday. Her birthday is in January. My daughter, Sarah, and I put um, some images of her from her birthday and um, a little, an extra little journaling card that I liked. Um, and I kind of wrote what we did and what some of my thoughts were um, as she turned 21 years old, right? So here I did a lot of collaging. Um, here's my writing. You can see the writing from the other pages. So this isn't a journal that I necessarily made, but I definitely, um, I'm just using it and the integrity of it, keeping it together, and really enjoying that one. So, um, then this one that I started showing you at the beginning is one I'm doing as a memory book for my mom about my mom, and it's all kinds of things um, from her life at different stages. Things, quotes that I love about mothers, a lot of her pictures, um, things that she had kept in her journals and diaries that I then wanted to make sure didn't deteriorate. So um, I found a bunch of the clippings about her engagement and her wedding to my dad. So I kept that, quotes about mothers, um, little things that she um, had saved but that were kind of deteriorating through the years. And... Um, so I was trying to protect them a little bit. Of course, this isn't acid-free and all of those things, you know, like with during my scrapbook days, but um, I still think it's in a little bit safer place. Some of these papers um, are scrapbook papers. The little notes, thank you notes and cards, letters, a napkin from the wedding. Um, so yeah, so this is a great way to um, use a junk journal. This is sort of like one of the folios sometimes that I make and tell you guys I love to make folios and then tuck them inside my journals. This is a great example of one. Another thing, and I haven't done this recently. If y'all are interested, let me know. This is what I call just like a book board and it's a, a nice sturdy piece of cardstock that I covered with some paper. And then when I am working in my journal, like I could tuck this under here and then if I want to write or if I want to stamp like I did here, to keep it nice and sturdy, you know, you can. It's a little small for some of the pages in this journal. But again, you know, I could tuck it under here and it will be easier for me to write on that page maybe depending on what else is happening. So, I mean, it, you really don't even need a tutorial on this. I just covered it. I did put some corners to make it um, look fancy. Two, two of the metal corners on it but those are fun to have for your journals so like I said I made this one recently and I've just started working in it so if you've watched some of my more recent videos you know I did a bunch with this kind of neutral paper collection um, envelopes flip outs tuck spots pockets like this and I love to mount them and use them in my journal here I decided I wanted to um, put a prompt in here. So I said, things that make me smile and laugh. And then I'm going to, I literally just wrote that in there last night. And my thought was each day I'd put in something that made me smile or laugh over the next, you know, month. So kind of excited about that just for fun. Here's a pocket that I already glued down. So again, 
um, when you have all of these types of elements on pages, I'm gonna put this one here. I don't know that you, and see it's got a journaling space under there. I don't know, in my opinion, you know, if, if you're not into, like I said, the, the heavy writing, I don't even miss it on ones like this, but then I do have the options to just go ahead and add a more neutral paper if I want to and have at it and start writing, or I could do smaller options for writing, like this kind of spot here, um, or even just on the tags and the little pieces that I put, you know, in the journals. So, lot, lots of things you can do. Um, I set aside just a pile of some scraps because I was also going to show you, sometimes I just feel like doing a collage and maybe um, a quote or something. I do tend to leave my paper that's lined like this for when I do want to write. So why don't we collage maybe right on this piece. And um, I don't even know, I don't even know what I set aside in here. I just grabbed a few things. Um, and this is some vintage maps page, atlas pages from where I made some of the um, actual pages, but they, they were too large and I trimmed them off. So I am going to, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a tear. And let's see what we come up with. Um, there's so many different types of collaging, you know. Um, sometimes I already have an image or something that I know I kind of want to be the focal. Sometimes I want to do it more just like a master board and then have the page ready. Again, when I'm ready to put a focal point on, I don't know, like I said, I don't even know it was in my, this pile of papers that we have to choose from. Uh, so I'm just gonna lay some down and we'll see what happens. But I do hope, like I said, if you're inspired um, by some of the projects where you know we're just making a pile of ephemera or all different kinds of pockets, and then you're, you're kind of accumulating them, if you're not up yet for making your own journal, maybe grab, like I said, grab a notebook, grab, um, Grab some, uh, uh, and even like an, an old notebook that you've already used. Like this is my idea journal that we're working on in one of my series. But I used this notebook under all of these little scraps of paper and things that I've glued down or things. And it was for work. I mean, it wasn't anything that I wanted to save. It was just my to-do lists and notes from meetings. And so I'm repurposing that notebook into something that I will be able to enjoy and treasure. I am gonna put this in the corner as a tuck spot on my collage page I'm making. Um, I don't know, so I hope this is helpful. <laughs> um, I have, I, I don't know if it's on YouTube or if I only put it on Instagram, I'm gonna see if I can find it. I lost a lot of my videos that I had posted previously, um, I, I was having a storage issue, which I've now resolved, so that shouldn't happen again, but I had done a, just a quick, probably just a short or a reel or something that said, for all of those people that ask me, what do I do <laughs> um, with, with all these things that I make? And I had made a journal for my aunt out of some really pretty fabric that was really special and had some meaning to me. And um, then I, I'm gonna turn this one this way. And then I, um, on all the different pages, I put a whole bunch of my little mini quote collages and a bunch of the pockets and ephemera and all these things that I've made. Um, I wrote little notes to her on the cards. And anyway, I think it just turned out beautiful. And um, and I gave it to her, so now when she wants to, she can sit and look at that and enjoy it and all of those things. So um, anyway, lots of, I think I'm going to put this here so I have the, the two contrasts. Um, 
lo lo lots of things that you can do. Um, so sometimes, and I do, I have little little boxes and little envelopes and little folders of all kinds of things I've made. And then like, like these pockets that I just added in. Um, and then when I'm ready, I can just use them. All right, and I know I'm rambling a little bit. But see how suddenly this page, not that there was anything wrong with it, it was pretty paper, but now it's taken on a whole new look and I can start thinking about, um, since my daughter Julie was in Italy this summer, I'm going to leave that there to think about that. Um, but now I can just sort of decorate and... Um, decide what else I want to do with the page and it's very relaxing for me and I enjoy later like with my other my other journals I go back and I look at them all the time all right I don't want to cover up my quote it says a heart without dreams is like a bird without feathers maybe I'll put this sassy lady on to this side Um, and I make a lot of journals, you know, that I do for design team projects. So I'm very specific using sets of papers or I am going to put it in my Etsy shop for sale. Um, oh, I'm just going to tuck this in this pocket. I like seeing that come out. Um, and I love doing that, but those even though I usually try to put different elements and interactive things in there, you know, they're not for me personally. So I try at least, I mean, I try once a day, you know, I don't always make that goal to do some of my own just journaling for me, but, um, you know, multiple times a week I will work in one of my journals and, um, I think it's, something a practice that that I've gotten into over the years that really helps me work through whatever's on my mind because normally I'm not chit-chatting with you guys I'm just having fun with my papers so I hope this helped give you some ideas I know it's not super detailed but maybe it'll encourage you um, when you watch some of the other process videos and tutorials about how to make, you know, a library pocket or how to make this jumbo stuffed pocket that you can put in a journal or um, different tags, different clusters, things like that, then you'll be inspired to say, well, and then I can actually add them to a page and enjoy them later. Okay. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate your support and um, I'll be back soon with more tutorials and fun projects for us to do together. Take care.